There's no storm yet. There's a longer chord before I say there's no storm. A downbeat, which is part of it. The downbeat is missing. She's, she'd sing after. Um, that's right. I like singing after the downbeat, and that's what's throwing me now. She's singing. Hold it, hold it. Oh, I don't like this. There's no storm yet. I don't like that. That's exactly it. Please restore the four frames. I like what we had. And there's, Give there's the a... lady back her book. Here we go. Okay, here we go. From the top. There's no chill. And yet... I shiver, there's no flame and yet I burn, I'm not sure what I'm afraid of and yet I'm trembling, there's no storm yet I hear thunder, and I'm breathless while trust my instincts I'm usually okay but there's another part of me that doubts that is filled, filled with enormous self-doubt but why you have everything why be afraid of experimentation I mean you I, I was so then. successful I was then yeah um, I'm not now I mean to me it's actually interesting to take risks to risk even failure because that would be another learning experience what changed what made you able to do that to experiment, to take a chance. Life was, life was growing short, you know, and I couldn't bear my own fear. I was reaching a point in my life where I thought, I don't want to play it safe anymore. And it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. I have to do this for me. Prague, Czechoslovakia. This ancient city tucked firmly behind the Iron Curtain is where Barbara and her production team spent six weeks filming major portions of the movie. The screenplay she co-wrote is based on a short story written by Pulitzer Prize winning author Isaac Bashevitz Singer. In the film, Barbara plays a young Polish girl, Jentel, who decides after the death of her father to assume the guise of a boy. Jentel does it because she wants to receive a formal education. At that time and place, an avocation denied to women. 
minutes, I have to copy the so you know, minutes, like, see the walk? <laughs> Watching Barbara at work for the last year and a half, I had several chuckles about hey. her near compulsive attention Hi. to detail. Coming Every in? detail. Yeah, right. As in yeah, this impromptu morning, script meeting morning, with co-star Mandy Potemkin. Did you get the changes? Instead of saying we have a great rabbi, which sounds like my colloquial dialogue, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you touching a horse? From yesterday, is that the funny? The little white. Uh, trim my oh, beard. I, are you That's serious? I, no, this I know. Is all she does. This, this, is, this, <laughs> this is what a man can't do to him. You know what I mean? I fix his hair. The rest is all types. She's really just the hair. <laughs> she gets the dandruff off. <laughs> to expand myself. I needed to grow. I needed to try new things. It wasn't enough of a responsibility just to make the movie and act in it. You had to direct it as yeah, well. Yeah, it wasn't enough to sing. I mean, to be a voice that sings a song that even somebody else wrote. It wasn't enough for me just to be an actress interpreting other people's words. I wanted to be responsible for the total vision of a piece. Don't even look at them. What you did naturally before was you just went, the Talmud recognizes life is filled with contradiction. Your move. The Talmud recognizes life is filled with contradiction. I was afraid before. I was afraid to direct. It's easier to blame something on someone else mm -hmm. if it fails. But I was ready to say I accept the blame. I accept the blame if it's a failure. And that's just a matter of growing up, I think. It wasn't without cost making Yentl. I mean, do you want to talk about that? I think you should. Well, nothing is. I mean, you have to make sacrifices. I mean, I'm still fighting for it because I believe you can have everything. I mean, that's my... I just believe you can. I believe, I believe a woman can work, have a career, have a fulfilling home life, have children. You know, I, I just believe it. I mean, still, it, I, I can't seem to do it yet. But I want to. That's my next goal. Barbara's going to talk with Geraldo about her dreams and loves and overcoming her fears and coming to terms with her past right after this. One reason Barbara Streisand is such a controversial celebrity is her reputation for being aloof and intimidating. But according to Barbara, a lot of what we hear is the product of show business reporters with an ax to grind, resentful of her power and the simple fact that generally she's not been available for interviews. So now Barbara talks about her own reputation. Do you find that people are afraid to open up to you, intimidated by your reputation? The first day of Yentl, I shook somebody's hand who was a prop man, and his hands were sweaty. And I said, you know, are you nervous? And, and he said, yes. And I said, well, no one's more nervous than me. And, you know, we're all going to make mistakes here, and me the most. And so, so it's okay, you know, we're all in the same boat. Your reputation is being so unapproachable, though. I mean, and being La Streisand, being the diva. That's being... terrible. That's not true. 